Good morning everybody. Mark here from Mark's Garage. Back with another video today. Today we're going to look at an in-depth detailed uh, view of my 2006 Kawasaki ZX-10R, affectionately dubbed Mean Greenie. Today we're going to focus on a quick video on the braking system on this bike. The braking system on this bike is very unique. I've gotten a lot of questions from people uh, asking just what what are you running on this bike so i wanted to make a quick video today to kind of go over the parts and pieces uh, that i put together on this bike uh, for the braking system so first we're going to come in close a little bit and detail the front brake setup starting with the calipers and the rotors and the lines so these calipers are made by a company uh, from italy called ALTH, A-L-T-H. I'm not sure if they're still making products, but in the, uh, the mid 2000s, they, uh, you know, they were kind of a niche brand, so you didn't see them on a lot of bikes, um, but they did make a great product. You know, full floating rotors, nice aluminum buttons, the anodized blue finish on those. I mean, I bought those in 2007, 2008, and it still looks like brand new, so good quality stuff. Uh, have some titanium rotor bolts that I just recently sourced. I put those on. I was like, man, this thing's missing, missing just a little bit. So I found some titanium rotor bo bolts. Question I get most asked about is those calipers. So those cal calipers are actually a billet caliper made by Galfer of all, all things. So uh, a lot of people didn't know that Galfer uh, made some calipers as well. These were actually a prototype caliper. Uh, spec, I believe, uh, on a Moto2 team. I had a, a, a friend of mine that, that uh, was in the military in Europe, and he got his hands on these somehow. And, uh, you know, I made a deal for him. I said, man, those will look great on my on my 06. Uh, at the time, I was running some just some Nissan calipers, which is what a lot of people do because they work work great. Nissan that sourced off of the X6R or the off ZX14, which was pretty popular at the time. Uh, worked great. I had them painted up like the, the Nissan factory colors. I had them in, in painted uh, a Luma Chrome color with a, with the uh, red and blue lettering in this, and they look great. I still have them. Actually, I was never able to actually uh, sell them, so I have them as a backup if I need them. Uh, so Galfer calipers, you're not going to see them on any other bike. I'm, I'm almost 100% confident. I've never seen them. Uh, now, I did see them uh, at a uh, motorcycle show in Dallas on the uh, Yoshimira Suzuki Superbike that was on display there. I'm not actually sure if Yoshimira Superbike, uh, Yoshimura Suzuki ran them for a season or not, but I did see them, and I, and I have a picture somewhere of that, the IMS show in Dallas one year, and, I, and, I, and the caliper stood out to me, uh, and I took a picture of them. So I said, Galper, billet aluminum, four-piston calipers, titanium pistons in there as well you can't see those but great uh, calipers super lightweight i uh, have uh some galfer superbike lines these were in fashion at the time they direct feed into the caliper which gave it a cool kind of race look uh, gold anodized fittings i think now they've went to a silver anodized fitting on these same lines but they look they look pretty cool there and smoked uh, finish there's the the front caliper set up up top i have uh at the time these were pretty pretty new still they hadn't released the quarter quarter version of them but a uh, brembo rcs caliper for master soldier for the front i believe this was a 19 18 20. it looks like the bull 18 or 20 ratio so pretty cool stuff there great uh great uh master cylinder got no complaints about this comes with the wiring for the brake switch built in for you street users okay the rear setup equally unique on this bike so i'm running the pvm rotor that came standard on my uh, pvm forge magnesium uh, race wheel here and underneath, I match that with a PVM billet aluminum four piston underslung caliper with the PVM bracket. 
So I actually was able to source this bracket uh, before I was able to find the caliper. I found the bracket on eBay. Uh, EMA was was clearing out their, their supply and warehouse, and they had the brackets on eBay for like 90 bucks. I'm like, what the heck? You know, even if I can never use it, it'd be nice to have, have that just in case. And then sure enough, uh, a couple years later, uh, one of these uh, billet aluminum underslung four piston i'm guessing they're for endurance racing uh, as you really you know that's more power than you need you know on a normal brake setup uh came up i snapped that up and threw it on there and probably got one of the most most unique unique rear braking systems on this uh zx10 that you're going to see as well too again a gaff a gaffler custom line gelfer custom line there and i'm just running the stock uh, rear master cylinder for now uh, works fine uh, with a uh, kind of a race thing that I that I like to do uh, uh, to eliminate the uh, the rear master cylinder reservoir. That's a HRC style plug right there. I don't use the HRC line because it has a tendency to uh, bleed brake fluid, uh, whatever material that HRC use for their rear uh, master cylinder uh, reservoir delete kits is just just crap so i tried that a few times on my hondas and that 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 uh tubing that they use is just crap so uh i'll just use regular black tubing there I mean, kept it out of sight out of mind so attached to the of course the uh, rizoma uh, racing uh rear sets on this bike that again are in another video i kind of highlight a little bit about them those are very unique you won't see them very well they come sourced with a silver uh, aluminum peg and a silver carbon fiber heel guard i've switched both of those out uh, for uh, the blacked out look got some of the racing pegs a little bit more aggressive knurling uh, completely round versus so flat and then the black you know carbon fiber heel guards to match the blacked out theme on this bike so there you have it that's a pretty good overview and highlight of the braking system on mean greeny here today so if you like my channel stay tuned uh, I got some more videos coming up on the Panigale, some more videos on the RC51. I'm going to try and do this a little bit here and there and just kind of highlight a specific part on each bike, kind of give me something to do in some of my free time. Uh, I've still been working in, from home here in my job since uh, March of last year, hoping to eventually sometime this year can get back in the office. But uh, uh, this kind of stuff keeps me busy and keeps me entertained and keeps me interested in, in my bikes. And... Uh, and just gives me something to do. So I really would appreciate it if you check out my channel. Like I said, I'm gonna try and post some more videos of the bikes and the modifications. Uh, maybe do a garage tour, maybe a tour of some special tools that, that I've collected over the years uh, to work on the bikes with. I do like to do uh, all of my own uh, work and maintenance on my on my bikes. Uh, so it's just something that, that I've, I've picked up over the years and always been mechanic in the mechanics and really enjoy it. So thank you guys. Have a great day. Like I said, do check out my channel, like, and click, and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Mark out.